Greetings and salam sejahtera. My name is Cyrus Hong Yong Zeng, metric number AD180214 and my group Mecha Transmissions would like to present our group uh, project presentation entitled Portable Ball Cleaner. Based on this group organization chart, we have five members where I agree myself, Cyrus, Tan Yang Kiong, H. Priyanta Ernest Pereira, Lim Han Yang and Augustine Asa. Alright, enough of our group introduction. Now we shall move on to our project. Our project is to create a sports ball cleaner machine that can, can clean all kinds of balls from footballs, tennis balls, hockey balls and also cricket balls. The reason is for this is because during this COVID-19 situation, whenever we go out and play, it is very important to keep our uh, sports equipment clean. The problems in today's products is it can only clean one type of ball. It's very expensive and also require external power sources. Hence, our objectives are to lower the cost of a ball cleaning machine, to make it portable, to make it semi-automatic and also make it lightweight. And to help us do so, we shall use the design process where the conceptual design, the embodiment design and detail design is taken into account. And for our project, we shall be delegating tasks based on chapters and subchapters, and scheduling will be done using a gun chart. That is all from our introduction. Thank you very much. I'm Lim Han Yang, and I'm going to discuss about Chapter 2, Define Task. Um, first of all, we determined the related product by looking, for, looking into the Google pattern, and we found some pattern product. Then we made the comparison between the pattern search by comparing between the advantage and the advantages between those products. Next, we distribute some pattern some questionnaire to determine what the market needs. We determine the gender, age, profession, frequency of playing balls, time spent on cleaning ball, number of balls, sport ball playing, and the method used to clean. Section C, we determine the major objective priority when purchasing a ball cleaner, the priority for design, the priority of choosing portable, priority features of criteria for choosing portable ball cleaner, and the priority for the cost of the ball cleaner. Um, from the results we obtained, we found that most of the respondents strongly agree that, person, that the maintenance cost should be cheap and the percentage of respondents who feel the product must be efficient, there's 29 that strongly agree. For the price range of product, most of them feel that the price should be between 500 to 1000 ringgit per litre. For clarifying objective, the objective we found that we stated that it should be not too difficult to be transport, it should not be too heavy to carry, the instructions are straightforward, that it should have if sufficient space for the bottle cleaning, it should be not too expensive and it should be not too costly to operate, and it access part it must be easy to find and it should be efficient when cleaning the ball and it should be have long lifespan. It, um, the, it's manually power and crank on the side. It can be operate itself by using the battery. This is the quality function deployment. And this is the house of quality. And this is the table that we made, the house of quality. Greetings to the lecturer. I am Tan Yang Kyung and I will be presenting on chapter 3, which is the conceptual design. As you can see, there are two diagrams on the screen, which is a flow of conceptual design where the flow goes by product activity analysis to component and functional decomposition to com concept generation and outline potential components to finally combine components. Next is the component decomposition analysis where the our product, the portable ball cleaner, is uh, separated into five sub-assemblies which is push assembly parts, water pump assembly, ta tanks assembly, pumping assembly and mix assembly. And these sub-assemblies are further separated into the sub assembly of it which is the basic part of each assembly next is the classification of components where you can see our components are separated into mechanical and non-mechanical and next is the product assembly to sub assemblies which is a further uh, explanation of the chart on the previous slide where the function of each sub assembly is presented all right now are the parts of explanation each the function of each component and their assemblies. In this slide, there is case, case assembly and rinsing assembly. This slide consists the pump assembly, power generation assembly and piping assembly and its respective parts and function explanations. Finally, is brainstorming where we decide each part, each of the assemblies uh, material and that is all for me. Thank you. Hi again, I shall be talking about the embodiment design and analysis. So for product architecture, this is a very important step because we, it helps us with the design. So there are four stages, which is construct the product schematic diagram, cluster element into modules, illustrate the product layout geometrically, and also identify and highlight 
the interaction between modules. As you can see on the right, we already uh, constructed the schematic diagram and also clustered element into modules. On the left is the geometric layout, and also on the right is the fundamental and incidental interaction. When choosing a component, it's very important to identify the parameters. So for example, the battery must be able to power the motor and the pump. The pump must be able to pump the solution to a certain head. Next, the motor must be able to provide enough torque to the shaft. Next, mechanical components such as the gear and the shaft are selected based on analysis on their safety factor, whether it's safe or not. For example, the pinion and gear are safe, but are threatened by wear and bending respectively. And on the other hand, uh, shaft has a rating of 2.775, which is very good because it's above the uh, required rating of 1.5. This is how the fasteners such as the bolt and nut are chosen as well. On the other hand, material selection is a very important part of the design process as well because it's related to function, shape, and process. We take example how we analyze on the casing. The casing needs to house components. So what is it? It need the material need to be lightweight, high strength, and high toughness. We also integrate the design for X as well, where the assembly, environment, manufacture. Uh, steps, the quality, the safety and the reliability are taken into account. That is all from me. Thank you. Hello, Doctor. My name is Priyanta Pereira and I will be explaining about Chapter 5, which is a detailed design and product simulation. We are from the group Mecha Transmission. I uh, hear this is a displacement test on our portable ball cleaner machine. You can see the values on the right. This is the stress test that we have conducted as well, the von Mises stress, the values can be seen on the right over here. The yield strength is 5.515 times 10 to the power of 8. And here is the strain test that we have conducted as well, you can see the arrows, they are applying the strain to, on our machine. Next is the damage percentage that we have conducted in this test, and you can see the red area that is high proneness to damage. And here lastly is the life cycle test that we have conducted as well. All right, thank you. Hello, doctor. My name is Prenta Pereira. I am from Group Mecha Transmission, and I'll be explaining about Chapter 6, Prototyping and Testing. So in product prototyping, there are several types, which are the product concept prototype, proof of concept prototype, alpha prototype, beta prototype, and pre-production prototype. However, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, we were able to only carry out the virtual prototype as we could not meet in person. Here are the process time we took in the assembly and simulation processes and the, assemble, the assembly of all components using standard parts took 3 hours, adjusting components to remove interference took 2 hours, explorer view took 1 hour, adjusting components to enable them to be disassembled logically took 2 hours, the motion analysis through SOLIDWORKS took 2 days and the remating and reassemble components to improve the simulation took 2 hours. Now, the testing of the prototype includes the fit test, which we carried out the SOLIDWORKS interference detection checking and the GDT provided in detail drawing. In the functional test, we carried out the motion simulation, static and fatigue failure simulation. Now here, this is our virtual prototype. You can see the internal mechanisms and the components that we have used to manufacture this product. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Abhutin Sapanaduna, DD100067. So this is our sustainability and environmental considering engineering design. Uh, so in sustainability, we have three elements, uh, social, uh, economic, and environmental. So each uh, element will uh, represent one of the three components. So we move to the next. This is the our element, social, economic, and environmental. For social, uh, our machine is a healthy lifestyle because it can have a uh, customer create the ball uh, mean more than one ball in one time and clean uh, ball, not touch the ball from the dirty uh, that already used. Next is economic sustainability. The material that we use is uh, from the recycled material such as a jerry can and it can make the product lighter and contribute to economic uh, effect that is for the economy. Next is environmental sustainability. Uh, our, uh, our our machine is not cause any pollution to environment since no waste material pro, uh, will be produced. Uh, our device also uh, eco-friendly mechanical component and the material can be recycled as I said. Uh, our concern to create an environmental uh, friendly product. Uh, that's all from the sustainability. Thank you. Okay, uh, I will proceed with our economic costing and business plan. So we can see from this table is a standard component procurement cost. 
we can see the universal motor there from pump pinion gear and uh, other components this is the procurement cost then this is the list of custom custom components uh, next is uh, our alternative uh, of human capital cost estimations we have two alternative uh, for labor pay is a uh, 50 ringgit per staff and alternative two is 30 ringgit per staff total payment is a uh, 60 ringgit per staff for alternative two and 50 ringgit per staff alternative one for overhead cost is uh, the two alternative show uh, also we can see the electric electricity water transportation of material and other else for so we move to the manufacturing cost uh, we also have the material uh, labor cost capital equipment cost uh, scrap the disposal cost and the total we can see then uh, how much the total is it then we move to the manufacturing uh, fit cost uh, for the design we can see from here warranty and replacement uh, certificate and the total so uh, as we can see uh, from the slide the total of this component cost is uh, 500 ringgit and 50 cent 50 cent ringgit malaysia next is uh, our business plan we can see from the figure uh, then the more to change the battery cost efficiency could increase the efficiency of training session of the athlete this is the place next is the 4p of marketing we can see the product pricing promotion and place for product is robust product considering element of social economic and environment uh, this is our sustainability as we can see before next is a uh, pricing based on employee wages utilities and the rents uh, third is promotion uh, our promotion is from the media social such as youtube facebook instagram twitter and other else of uh, uh, promotion social media uh, media next is uh, the place uh, the place is customer service in this in city to east customer travel and the facilities are the repay facilities that's all for me thank you